What's up everybody, this is Max with Started Outdoors, and tonight we're going to be installing and reviewing probably the best LED headlight upgrade for your Ford Ranger. Stay tuned. The typical halogen bulbs that you get with your normal cars, they work, of course. You know, they light up the road, but it's still pretty difficult to see, especially compared to the modern LED lighting that's available to you. Some of you guys are gonna be like, well, you know, the bulbs get that flash, you know, they blind people against you in traffic. And yes, for some of the cheaper bulbs, they do. Your typical halogen bulbs, as well as the reflectors inside the housing here, are designed in a way so that when the light that is emitted from the bulb is hitting a certain spot on the reflectors to beam straight out. But with your cheaper LED lights, that specific spot is changed. That's the reason why you get that crazy beam pattern. Yes, it does flood light out there. Not the way that it was designed to be to give you a clear view without blinding oncoming traffic. And that's where GTR lighting comes in. A huge thanks to the guys over at Headlight Revolutions for sending these out for review. We've got a set of the GTR lighting's Ultra LED lights and the CSP Minis. For the 2019 and 2020 models of the Ford Ranger, the CSP Minis are the ones that are gonna be working for your low lights. Whereas your Ultra 2s, these are gonna be able to fit in your high beams. Today, we're gonna be installing these on the truck. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. It's a pretty simple installation. It can be done very quickly. And then we're gonna compare the beam patterns to the original halogens and see why these ones are so much better. Here are the two lights themselves. I chose to go with GTR lightings for a couple reasons. Because of their efficiency, their ability to last long, and because of the engineering that goes behind this. It's not just an LED slapped in there. They are some of the brightest that you're going to get out there. You may find some out there that'll claim, oh, 10,000 lumens or something like that. You know, there's always going to be those cheap knockoffs. But these guys mean it. They're damn bright. The first step is to remove the plastic shield. This is really easy to do just with a simple flathead screwdriver. Just pop off the top snap. You have one right here, 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 here. And then you have two that you could either use a flathead screwdriver for or a hex driver. Once you've popped them all off, this will simply just come right up and out. A couple little snaps here. And there you go, shield is out. I wish that changing light bulbs was as easy on every vehicle as they are on the Ford Ranger. The view that we're seeing right now is behind the driver's side high beams and low beams. You'll see these two caps. There's a gray one here and a gray one back here. You'll also notice a bunch of extra wires here. This is not indicative of a normal Ranger. I just have a lot of accessories. This cap is just a simple twist and pull, just like that. Grab onto your light bulb right here. You'll feel it, it's a little plastic nub right back here. Twist, and then pull straight out, and there you go. You got your bulb. All you have to do now is pull this clip out and the bulb will separate from the power lead. Simple as pull and unclip, just like that. So here we have our GTR Ultra 2, and we have our regular halogen bulb. Now you'll see here, if I place them right next to each other, the light emitting part right there, where you can see the little coil, perfectly matches where the LED is right there. Being that it's perfectly aligned, the beam patterns and the placement of the actual light on the reflectors will perfectly match your existing halogens. All we have to do now is click it in and power it on. Now you'll notice that it has a clip on both sides. It'll say right there, positive and negative. If you look at the wire here, you'll see one is a white and one is gray. Typically speaking, the gray one would be positive, the white would be negative. Now the cool thing is that you can test it click it into place. I'm gonna put the bulb right here so we can see it and I'm gonna turn it on. Holy moly that is really really bright. Place this back in the same spot just push it in and rotate. To know whether it's in place or not it's very simple to find out. All you gotta do is look on the other side. Right inside the housing there it is in place and it's aligned. Cool. Just replace everything back behind it Kind of shove it in there, put the cover back in place, and twist to lock. And there you go, just like that, 
the high beam is done. Now do the exact same thing over on the low beam. Again, twist to unlock, pop off that cap. There we go. Grab that bulb, twist. This one's even easier. Just press down on the clip and pop, it goes right out. Here we have our CSP Mini. Again, you can see there, perfectly matched. Once more, let's test it to see if it works. No power over there. Aha! This one I actually flipped backwards. All we had to do is unplug it, turn it around, and we have light. Get your cover, replace it, and you're all set to go. This side is officially done. There's already quite a difference. So you got your regular halogen bulb there, and you got that insanely bright LED there, and this is just the low light. That high beam is gonna be amazing. Fortunately, there is enough space to get your hand inside here, and things are flexible enough to move out of the way. Get your hand inside here, twist the caps off, just like how you did on the opposite side. One thing to note is that the housing of the low beam over here is actually a little bit too tight for you to remove it while the power is connected. So you're gonna have to feel inside here and if you try to take it out directly, you'll feel that the little power connection hits the bottom of the housing. So you have to feel it and remove the power directly right here first. You can see, disconnected the power. And now you will have enough clearance here to get the bulb out and here it is do the exact same thing but in the reverse order this time bulb first power second one more thing to note is that the power plug is not going to work going back in the same direction as it was when you pulled it out you're going to have to reverse the polarity by rotating it around and then replugging it in order to get the power to work. Put your cap back on and let's do the high beam. Came out the same way. Easy clip, pops right off. We got power. Shove everything back into the housing after plugging the light in. Finally replace the cap and we're done. And there you have it, everybody. Quick, simple, easy installation and will make a huge improvement, not only to the look of your truck, but to general safety and visibility on the highway or in dark roads, wherever you are, especially for us off-roaders out there who really like to get into the dark areas. Those high beam upgrades make a huge difference. I highly recommend them. And again, just wanna say thanks again to Headlight Revolution for sending these out. And if you're interested, I'll leave a link directly to the Headlight Revolution website so that way you can pick up your own bulbs. Please subscribe to the channel, hit that notification button, that way you can be notified when I do release that update video because I'm sure it's gonna be awesome and I'll be showing a lot of nighttime off-road. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. Thanks again for watching. Make sure you guys check us out not only here on YouTube but on Instagram and Facebook. Happy trails and I'll see you next time on Stardew Outdoors.